Hi there, this is Lauren Brooks and I am going to show you how to set up a party in your back office. There's training on this as well in university, but just for a quick reference, this is what we're doing. So this is your website. Your picture should be at the top. Um, we can talk later about how to make sure that's there in case it's not. Otherwise, um, you'll go click on my office, go down to my parties. Once you click on my parties, all right, you will have, this is all the parties I've ever had. This is um, where you're going to schedule a new party. Okay, I will host this party. This is if you're gonna be hosting and receiving the awards, customer or friend, or you can invite a friend as well. These are the two most common ways. For your launch party, you will host this party. For your fresh link every 10 days, you will host this party. When you click there, Okay, you can click a theme that you'd like, but I always do kudos just because I want to do that. And then you have the option to customize this party. This is where you can go in and change the name of your party. For my generic party link, I say no, uh, no party today, just online shopping. That's what I say because I don't want people to assume that this is a party that they're supporting. This is just online shopping. However, it is a party link, which I will earn rewards through. Uh, for your launch party, you might say something fun or clever referring to your launch. After you do that, you can change the description. I really don't these days. Um, I don't think it's super necessary. And then you click save my party and there's your party. It's good for 10 days. If you wanna close it early, you can absolutely close it early and you'll still receive rewards and all that jazz. Now, for customer parties, you go to the same thing, schedule a new party and you click customer or friend. If they've ordered from you before, you'll click your name here and that they will automatically come up because they're in your customer database. If they've never ordered you from you before, um, you're gonna create a contact. You need their first name, last name and an email address. You will enter all that, you'll continue. It'll go to the same page that you had for the I will host this party where you can customize it, right? And then you'll submit it. When you do that, okay, your hostess will receive an email that asks them to check in. Okay, what that checking in is, is they need to create a, a customer account on your website because that's where I'll see, like this is 200, this is hostess rewards. She needed to have an account on my website. Um, so that she has access to those rewards. This is one of my current hostesses right now, says she's not checked in yet, okay? That means that she's going to need to check in before a certain point, I think that, and it tells you, it says in their thing, um, before a certain point for her to actually receive these rewards and have access to them. I can, and if, if they still haven't checked in, you have access to be able to resend a reminder email, okay? Um, and that's it, that's basically it. And then I, when you have a party going, all right, when you have a party going, um, and you click on that party, for the online event on my Facebook, whether that's in a group or an event on Facebook, I use um, this party link. This is what I'll share, and that's what people will go to and order through. Hope this helps, yay, bye.